Amanda, I have seen so many fresh, vivacious, eccentric, wildly original, and completely strange voices, completely destroyed by the allure of fame, popularity, being hired by a mainstream media organization where their voice is never the same, and they never go back to what made them special in the first place. It usually happens among writers roughly around the age of 40. I never want that to happen to me. Because if I am not able to speak in my own voice, there is no point in me doing TikToks, writing, audio production, music. If I can't actually tap into that, which is very salubrious for me, then uh, I'm not doing it right. Even when I had an account here in which I had more than 40,000 followers, I was very uneasy about that. I started to feel little dregs of people-pleasing. And now that I don't care about that, I feel truly liberated. I can do whatever the fuck I want, and maybe I'm ahead of the curve. Maybe I'm hopelessly behind. It really doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is your own voice and the protection of your creative voice by any means necessary. So if I am loudish or punkish from time to time, as I am, sometimes in the stitches, it's only because I never, ever want my voice to be compromised. Because if I do that, I'm just like any other fucking corporate sellout. 